I gotta wait for better days It's all starting now It's not too late, we can't be safe great machine, we don't miss it a lot time, my last time doing this, I have to say It's gonna be alright Emotional, it feels feel good I cannot thank Roseanne enough time. for her generosity Words Tonight not even expressed What a beautiful person she is I love her to pieces Um, the, my birthday is today because it's a right. brand new day. I'm getting blessed to get, to get a, an angel sending me from heaven yeah. to get me my kidney. Cindy's excited. getting a new kidney this yes. morning. Yes, that's I'm right. I'm excited. I'm overwhelmed. Yeah. I haven't slept. Yeah. Well, that, you're, you're going to sleep in a little <laughs> yes, bit. <laughs> exactly. So grateful for Roseanne, who's been a godsend, and all my family and friends who've been yeah. there for me. That's right. You've and got lots of prayers going yes, your way. Yes, a lot of prayers, definitely. Aww. So I'm very grateful for that. I'm so excited yeah. for you, Cindy. How long were you on dialysis, like, total? Total, eight months. Eight months. Eight months. I was wow. in And I said goodbye to CJ last night. Is that your machine? That was my machine. <laughs> I named it CJ and I said goodbye. That's Thank right. Thank you for everything. That's right. Hasta la vista, baby. That's right. Now, are you nervous? Are you more you know, excited? I'm more excited. I'm, Good. I'm calm. I'm relaxed. This morning on the way, on the car, I burst out crying. You did. And it just, all the emotions came out and I yes. just let it all out and good. I cried. Good. So I did my good cry this morning. Good. So good. This morning I'm happy. I'm ready. I'm excited. You're ready. I'm so excited I'm for ready you. I'm ready to the operating room. <laughs> <laughs> good for you, Cindy. I'm so excited for you. Okay, guys. First of all, it's 7 o'clock in the morning and I am. I uh, just leave in the hospital heading back home. If you guys recall, that was Cindy and I met her at the kidney, walk for kidney walk um, a few months ago. And her and I have actually stayed friends, um, her and her husband. Guys, today is her big day. Today she is getting a brand new kidney. She's been on dialysis for eight months and with lots of positivity and persistence and prayer, she found her kidney. Guys, it's, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day to get a brand new kidney and to have that second chance at life. I am so, so incredibly happy for her. I spoke to Roseanne and uh, I had never met her before. She's an absolutely lovely lady. She was right next to Cindy. Um, and she, I don't know, I think she had an IV already. I, of course, I wasn't gonna put her on camera uh, because that's, this is, this is her story, this is her journey, uh, not mine. And Cindy was like, I walked in and she's like, uh, do you have your camera? So I just love her and I love that she's able, that she's willing to share her story with us because I, I think it needs to get out there. Guys, if I could tell you every single day how my life has changed by being a kidney donor. I swear to God, I would. Like, <laughs> I'm not because I know that you would get bored and probably start rolling your eyes at some point, but it is, it is just an amazing feeling. And I told Roseanne, uh, the donor, Cindy's donor, I said, you know, there's one thing in life to be a mom and you know, you, you give birth and you raise a child and uh, you know, there's that, that huge blessing that you can't pay for, that you can't even almost express sometimes how much love you have for that job and that blessing. But to be a donor, this is something that you choose to do for somebody else. And you see, you witness their life change. It's, it is just, and I told her, I said, you are going to emotionally be far more blessed than, and you're gonna feel better than you did yesterday. I got to witness firsthand um, what dialysis does to you. I saw the emotional drain and physical drain that it put on both my mom and my dad. It's an artificial way of living. Um, because that's basically what dialysis is. It, it, it does the work for your kidneys um, or it does the work in place of your kidneys. You know, when, something, when something's fake, well, it's fake, it's not real. And your, your body is affected by that. My point is I got to witness 
the good, the bad, and the ugly of dialysis. Just knowing that my dad was no longer gonna do that because he had a, he was gonna have a brand new kidney. The realization of that is it's so emotional. Prior to our transplant, I was very excited. I felt very grateful. Um, just a ball of energy to get this surgery done and to see my dad have his new kidney and feel better and start to look better and all of that great good stuff okay right after recovery once i was able to talk to him um he facetimed me when i saw my dad it was like bittersweet my dad didn't look good um he looked like he had just come out of having an organ <laughs> transplant. And yet he had so much gratitude. Like his face was swollen. You could tell he had just had major surgery. And yet all the words he articulated were positive and love and gratefulness. And I mean, just genuine appreciation. Hi, Dad. You're welcome, Dad. You're welcome. Yes. Thank you, Dad. I love you too, Dad. You're welcome, Dad. I love you too, Dad. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. What you didn't see was my dad crying and crying and crying and crying and crying and telling me thank you thank you thank you so when my dad and i hung up that's when it hit me that was when the realization that his life had changed hit me like i swear to you because prior to that it was just testing and waiting for the results and more testing and waiting for the results um, and you have to go here and you have to go there my mind was so occupied with that but once I got off the phone with him that was when it hit me that my dad's life had changed I just gave my kidney to my dad and so emotionally I was a mess <laughs> I was a mess. It, it has been, again, like I'm not gonna lie, it has been the best thing, one of the best things that has ever, ever happened in my life is to be a kidney donor. And uh, wow, being at the Methodist this morning, being in the same pre-op room, uh, just totally brought me back. If any of you have any questions, um, please feel free to contact me. Uh, it's been so wonderful hearing all of your stories, reading all of your messages. So for those of you who have contacted me who are gonna have transplants soon, oh my goodness, congratulations to you. My prayers are with you. Uh, my thoughts are with you. And for all of you donors, your life, your life is gonna change. Um, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited for you, for everybody who has contacted me. I am just genuinely so happy for you. And you know what? If you are watching this and you're on dialysis and you don't want to be on dialysis, then be what Cindy was. And Cindy was a force of nature, that woman. She had so much energy she would convey to you i am full of life dialysis is dragging me down right now and i want to feel better please consider being tested to be a kidney donor like that was the energy that she let out um and so if you think oh my gosh no i'm on dialysis and and yeah that's it you know this this is just this is my life um and you don't want to be there are some people who find that when they go to their dialysis treatments um they have their little community and they like that and that's that's of course completely fine but if you are on dialysis and you don't want to be um i am here to encourage you i am here to give you hope I just left the hospital and Cindy is gonna get a brand new kidney today. So 
I, I, I want to share this video, share this video with anybody that you know, because you too, you too can be there uh, where Cindy is at, and you can be in the same bed that my dad was at when he got his new kidney. It is possible, pray about it, tell people, I don't, I don't like this. This is my life and I'm going to live it to the fullest if it's on dialysis or not. But if I have a kidney, my life is going to be better. So share that, share that, be a testimony. I wanted to share this awesome, awesome story with you guys. Thank y'all so much. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for listening to me yet again talk about my kidney transplant. But you know what? It was literally, it sounds so cliche, it does. But um, it's true. It, go ahead boyfriend, because I'm just in such a good mood. It is life changing for two people and two families. So go out guys, oh my gosh, go out. Be a kidney donor, be an organ donor. Um, share, share what you have. Share your pair. Have you heard that? We all have a pair of kidneys, right? Because we have two. Um, so share your pair. Consider being an organ donor. But anyways, I love you guys. I thank y'all so incredibly much for watching. And don't forget to reserve your seat at our table for seven and subscribe to our channel. God bless each and every one of you. Make it a great day and have a fantastic weekend. So I met the most amazing, inspirational woman. Her name is Cindy. Hi, guys.